Okay ladies and gents, now the long awaited what to do with your wing. So, we're going to carry on with the existing model. Now I have to apologise at this stage um, for the length of time before I made this video. Life got in the way and my laptop is broken. So I'm making these uh, videos so that I can edit them when I get a new laptop. So that's why you've had to wait so long. So I do apologise about that. So here we go, let's take the wing out. Now, there's, there is two ways of taking this dihedral out, okay? One way is to use your iron, and what you do, you get lots of um, kitchen towel, and you soak it and lay it flat on the top side, put a towel underneath here, okay? And put some wet tissue underneath. You then get the iron, you heat this up. This makes it expand, which forces this down. Okay? And then you hold it down. And you put a heavy weight on it, like some books or, or whatever you've got at hand. Okay? But don't be afraid to be abusive with this, because this will take a lot of punishment. You can, you can bend it. It's not, it's not going to snap. Okay? Um, the other method is to use boiling water, so that's what I'm going to use uh, on this occasion and we'll see how it turns out, which means that I have to stop and start this video because uh, well, it's in the kitchen, so <laughs> you have to do these sort of things when there's nobody in the house or bothering you and stuff like that, and, you know, it's not a studio, so bear with me and uh, I'll see you in just a second. Now for the next part, I hope you can be able to hear me okay because I'm going to turn the, uh, the cold tap on. Okay, nice and cold. So this is what we're going to do. I'll just pour the kettle and you pour the hot water over the joint. Yeah. Like so. Then you bend it. Okay. And then you put it under the cold water. This will give a rapid contraction, okay, and hopefully, yeah, it's starting to work. So put a bit more hot water on it. Bend it, and don't let the, your glasses steam up like mine do, it's like working on a foggy day. And put it under the cold tap. Notice I've got it at this angle, yeah. And before we let it go. And you see how that's coming out now, yeah. Just needs a little bit more, okay. So I'll just put the kettle back on, let it heat up again. And I'll just keep doing that, all right. It's boiled again. More hot water either side. Only need it over the joint. Okay. Bend it. And then cool it. The wrapping the rapid cooling will help it to uh, the molecules in the foam to stay put. And that how to do that yeah in fact I might give it one more go there's a slight ripple okay so on the joint there you go bend it backwards this is the leading edge okay under the cold water I might give it one more go after this just to make sure. See how we get on. And this the dihedral is only very slightly still there, so let's give it one more go. Now you'll notice there's no there's no damage to that at all. 
Yeah, there's nothing, nothing at all. But that dihedral is still slightly there. So let me just pull up the kettle one more time. Hopefully it'll uh, zip into life fairly quickly. Yes, it has. So here we go. We pour the boiling water over it. Just do it equally either side. Okay. And then be quick about it. Cold water. So what I will do is I will just leave a pencil here overnight just to give that a little bit extra and just do the same for the opposite side. Now I've nearly run out of boiling water but I'll give it a quick try. Okay. Here we go. Let's come out a little bit. So I'll just keep doing that until the dihedral is completely out. And like I said, I'll leave that overnight with a, a pencil like this one. You put it there like that. Leave it on a, on a flat surface. Yeah. And uh, we'll just wait down the ends. Come the morning, that'll be as flat as a pancake. But obviously, if you need to take it out some more, well, hey, this only took a few minutes, so it's not a not a big deal, is it? So that's how you take out the dihedral of your wing. And in a moment or two, which will be tomorrow I expect, um, I will show you how to mark things up and uh, you know, and then eventually uh, show you where the centre of gravity is. Uh, you'll probably notice there that I've already marked up where the fuselage relates to the wing. It's important to do this because if you're putting servos in, you want to put them in an equal distance because this will balance the wing so it will stop the the aircraft sort of tilting this way all the time or tilting this way all the time and when you come to trim it out it's just that little bit easier to make sure that you have your servos either side and I'll just turn this watch off because it's killing the environment according to the kids um, and then you'll be able to trim well, not trim, uh, use your pencil and uh, draw around this. So this will be going this way and your cable will be cut into the wing and come out here like this. Okay, and then you just pull it through to the fuselage or the fuzz as we like to say in the game. And I'll show you how to do all of that. So what you will need is you will need uh, a ruler and you will need tape measure and you will need your pencil and you will need your servo and once again this is a, a 9 gram SG90 you can see that all right okay make sure you got all that and we'll move on to the next part <laughs> 